Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Relationship Talk with Sharonda. My name is Sharonda Parker, and I am your host. And today is the day after Hurricane Ida. Oh, my goodness. Y'all, we have had some rough weather here in Louisiana. So for all of my people who are out of town who have never experienced a hurricane, pray for us down here in Louisiana. But today, we're going to be talking about the big O the big orgasm, the one that 10% of women have never experienced after becoming sexually active. You have a lot of women who are sexually active and they have never had an orgasm. And a lot of times we say, well, what is the point of being sexually active if you're not going to get anything out of it? And the thing about an orgasm is that is the point of pleasure. Okay. Now there's so many different types of orgasms, but a lot of women have never experienced an orgasm through penetration alone. So we're going to talk about that because what we know is in order for a woman to have an orgasm, she has to have really good circulation to the clitoris. That means that blood has to flow to the clit, right? The clit has to become aroused and sensitive. And if that doesn't happen, then it's going to be extremely hard for her to have an orgasm or possibly not have an orgasm at all. Okay. The products that I'm going to talk about today, they all help with circulation. Okay. Some have just been out longer than others, but I'm going to talk about what I personally enjoy. Um, and then I'll talk about, um, you know, the reasons that people will get one versus the other. Okay. Um, first of all, let me just say this here. In order for you to have an orgasm, you have to experience stimulation, whether it is directly or indirectly. By using products like this, this is indirect stimulation, meaning that you're using a product to help with the circulation, right? But you're not using your fingers or a bullet or a toy or penis or anything like that to go along with it for stimulation. In order to achieve the orgasm that you're looking for, a lot of times you're going to have to have multiple types of stimulation, meaning indirect and direct. This is going to be indirect because these are topical um, products that you're going to put on the clitoris, which is going to encourage blood flow. Okay. The one that I have been using the longest that has been on the market forever is orgasmics. Y'all know I swear by orgasmics. If you ever use orgasmics, then you know it gets the party started. And you know that when you use orgasmics, you ain't got to wait, meaning that the party started. Because, see, I had people that used to get the orgasms to be like, oh, well, I was going to put it on. And uh, when I know he get off at 8 and he normally get home around 8.30, oh, baby, the, the party going to be the started without him. If you put it on at 8, uh, three to four minutes after 8, you ready to bust a nut, baby. And, and you you going to be waiting a long time for him to come home until 8.30 to get settled. So my recommendation is to use this when the dick is near. Okay, when it's near, meaning they're available, ready to cut up with you, that's when you're going to apply this. Okay, orgasmics is tasteless, colorless, odorless. That means nobody knows that you've used it but you. That is one of the great things about orgasmics. Again, it has been out on the market forever. It's not going to irritate you, not going to aggravate you. It ain't going to give you no yeast. It ain't going to give you none of this other stuff. It's not going to do all of that. Okay, so that is orgasmics. My next is, uh, my next product is Make Me Come. Now, Make Me Come is for my ladies who are like myself, who are starting to experience stages of early menopause. And you say, well, how do you know when you're starting to experience stages of early menopause? You start noticing that you don't get as wet as you used to. You know, when you were 16, 17, 18, that thing was juicy. But you know, at 40, you know, it's, it's moisture there. But it ain't dripping wet like it was back then. And it's okay. Because a lot of times as we age, women feel like our bodies are not supposed to change. But the change come along with aging. Okay? I'm experiencing it. You, everybody experiencing it. Especially people that went to school with me that's in my age group. You noticing that at nighttime you're sweating a little bit more. Yeah, all kind of stuff. You noticing that you move kind of all over the place sometimes. All of that is a part of early menopause. Even if you're experiencing kind of like slight little cycles in between your cycles or you you seeing um when you wiping yourself you seeing like little traces of blood all of those are 
things that go on with the stages of early menopause, okay? Talk to the ladies in your family. Start asking them, at what point did you start going through the change? And they'll tell you, oh, I started experiencing it at 35. Well, I experienced it at 42. You have to know these things so that when you start going through the change, you can know that you ain't losing your mind, okay? So make me come is a little bit stronger than orgasmics. So my ladies who are going through the change of life, I recommend make me come, okay? This is gonna be awesome for you. Now, my people who love CBD and they love uh, relaxation and all kinds of stuff, or some of y'all some of y'all that experience like a little irritability and all of that kind of stuff, a little vaginal itching, and it's not anything STD or STI related, but some women down to a tissue, like you know how you go to a public place and you use their bathroom and they have cheap tissue because it's tissue for the public. Sometimes the brand of tissue that they use can have you a little irritable. It, and it, it, it doesn't mean that you've contracted anything. It just means that they ain't got the good stuff like you buy at your house. So that means that when you wipe, you notice that it was a, you, you became a little irritable, a little itching or whatever. Then you want to use on hemp arousal. Okay, because it actually helps with people who are irritable down there. Okay, so you notice that, you know, you got a little itching and all that going on. You done been to the doctor. They say ain't nothing wrong. You done had lab work done or whatever. It could be the panties that you're wearing. It could be so many different things that, that your body's going through while you're experiencing this. But you want to do the own hemp arousal oil. And you only need one drop on the clitoris. All of these require very little it goes a long ways but what you want to do is you want to take a little bit put it on your finger any of these rub it on the clitoris in a circular motion this is going to require you to be comfortable with yourself that means that you gonna to have to get to know you if you're not one that masturbate i need you to stop overthinking it and think about the the end result which is the big o the, okay. the desired result is to get the big o that's what we're looking for okay that's what we're looking for. So it's going to require you to touch yourself. It's going to require you to get to know yourself. And you're going to actually put this on there. You're going to rub it in. Yeah, you may feel a little tingle. That means that it's working. Okay? You in that 10%? That's all right. We're going to fix your pussy today. We're going to fix it. You say you in that 10%, your pussy won't be broke after the day. We're fixing it. Look, we're going to take a little bit. Rub it on the clitoris, rub it in. You're going to see that the clitoris is going to start to swell up. It's going to actually start to grow and get big. And that means your clit going to stand up. It's going to get erect just like a dick. With any of these, it's going to get erect. When the clitoris is erect, that makes it easier for you to have an orgasm. Okay? Anything that touch up against it, whether it's your finger, his dick, the bullet, a wand, whatever, you have an orgasm so back to back to back to back, okay? So what we want to do is increase blood flow. What interrupts blood flow? Sometimes aging. Sometimes the birth control that you own. Yes, birth control can do it. Sometimes the medication that you're taking for uh, diabetes, blood pressure, all of this kind of stuff. All of those things interrupt the circulation to the clitoris. And we know that the clitoris has over eight, has about 8,000 nerves, okay? So there's no reason why you shouldn't be having orgasms. We know that the clitoris, the only purpose is for pleasure, okay? It's not like the penis because the penis is actually used for reproduction. The clitoris is not used for reproduction. It's strictly for pleasure. That's the only thing, that, that's the only reason it's there, okay? So we wanna make sure that we treat it good. We wanna make sure that we take care of it. We wanna make sure that we stimulate it. That way, when you're having sex, you're having the best orgasms that you could possibly have, okay? All right. So that's gonna end my spill on this. So my little life lessons that i be liking to give y'all let me say this i was driving yesterday y'all know we had a hurricane um and i always think about how when it comes down to blessings okay i just experienced a blessing in the grocery store just now right before i came here and i and i and i teach this and and i know it's so i know the timing is so right for it because it literally just happened in my life like just happened in my life I was in the grocery store with my basket and the lady said, put your stuff up there. This all you want? I said, I said, this, this is all I'm getting. She said, I, I got it. I'm paying for it. The lady paid for my whole basket of groceries in the grocery store 
just now. Like right before I came and did this live, she paid for all of my food that I was cooking today. And y'all know I just told y'all last week, Amber just stocked my house with $500 worth of groceries. And I was just coming there to get some meat because when Amber stocked my house, I got everything non-perishable. But with today, I had meat in the basket. And the lady literally paid for everything in my basket. And I'm like, Lord, you're so good. But let me go do your work because I know why you got me sharing this. See, a lot of people have this misconception about the way blessings go, okay? God himself don't come down and sit with you and say, here go your blessing. The way God blesses you is he uses people to bless you. God blesses us through people. Meaning that he'll make sure that the right people come at the right time. He'll make sure that we networking with the right people. He'll make sure that we connect them with the right people. He will make sure the right people come and spend money with you. He will make sure the right people spend the, uh, spread the word about your business. He will make sure the right people know who you are. He makes sure that he uses people to be a blessing. That's how he blesses us, okay? Follow me. The same way he uses people to bless you, right? When he take his hands off of you, meaning when he lifts the favor up off of your life, literally lifts the favor off of your life. He's still there, but he lifts the favor up off of your life. He used people to do that too, meaning that when you go to show up for something, it don't work out. When you're trying to network and connect, they like, nah, I'm good. All of a sudden, business starts slowing down because people are not coming. All of a sudden, nobody's talking about what you got going on because nobody cares, because people don't care. In other words, the same way he uses people to bless you, when he take his hands off of you, he uses people for that too. Why are you saying this, Sharonda? Be careful how you treat people. I don't care what it is that they do. I want the God in you to show up at all times. All times. Is, does that mean that you're being a fool? No, that don't mean you're you being a fool. No, it does not. But the God in you should show up at all times. It does not matter what the next person do because, see, we don't know the people that we're dealing with in the world. We don't know if they believe us or not. And, that, and it ain't our concern. But our concern is to make sure that we're representing ourselves and representing the Father that we serve. We make sure we represent Him right every day, all day. Okay, so I'm saying all that to say, you be careful how you treat people. You never know when you're entertaining an angel. You never know. My mom used to always tell me, you be careful how you treat people because you never know when you're entertaining an angel. I was in the grocery store today and God sent a person to bless me and pay for all my groceries. And I could have bought my groceries. But guess what? Obviously, he knew that I need to use that money for something else because y'all don't know it. But I hit a deer on my birthday. I hit a deer on my birthday, right? And y'all like, damn, Sharonda, you got a lot going on, but it's well. I'm just trying to get you to understand that it's well. Even in the midst of me hitting a deer, right? And, and, and having to go get my baby from, from the, the New Orleans because, you know, you, we know what's going on with that. God's grace is still sufficient. It's still sufficient. And we have to learn how to thank God for the good things. And stop complaining about everything. The little small inconveniences. Okay, our lights out, but somebody else's house underwater. Somebody else got a tree that they pulling up out their yard, out, out they, off their roof. We got to learn how to thank God for the small things. All right, that is going to end my live. I have a photo shoot to get ready for today. My husband is coming to take my pictures. And I'm just about to go and enjoy the rest of my day, y'all. You all be blessed. The website is below. Shop online. If you enjoyed this and it blessed you, send a cash out. Y'all have a good one.